the 5th of January 2021. A date we will all remember. <coughs> when the first Oxfordshire citizens received the AstraZeneca Oxford vaccine. I mean the 4th, so much has happened. Shortly followed that evening by Boris Johnson telling us all that we're going into a second lockdown. Oh, well, what's it like here in Oxfordshire? Some working parents want kids to go back to school because school closures directly impact them, whereas others are absolutely terrified of their children going back to school because they could catch COVID. Teachers don't want schools to open because COVID spreading around their school directly impacts them, although many are freelance and want to get back to school. Um, NHS staff want a full lockdown because sick COVID patients directly impacts them. Business owners want to carry on as normal because lockdown directly impacts them. People with physical health problems want everyone to stay socially distant because catching COVID could kill them. People with mental health problems want to spend time with people because isolation could kill them. Some can't wait for a vaccine because they believe it will bring back some normality. Some are terrified of a vaccine because they believe it could harm them. We are all going through this, but none of us are going through the same thing. Some face crippling financial challenges, others face heartache. We don't all have to agree with what is best, because what's best for us won't be necessarily best for everyone. We don't have to understand what others are going through or even respect it. But we do try to need to somehow stick together and keep loving each other no matter the differences. We need to be mindful when things during this pandemic go the way that we want it to, it could be devastating news to another person. Me, on the other hand, when I'm pacing my bungalow like a caged animal, desperate to be able to walk. I'm not raising money like Captain Tom, but would like to raise awareness for a cure for MS. A phenomenal day today here in the UK, Oxford. The first Oxford vaccine, AstraZeneca vaccine, was administered to patients. A historic day indeed. I often look at the symptoms for COVID and think, gosh, many of these apply to my condition, multiple sclerosis. And in some ways, I've been in lockdown since my mid thirties. I beg, and I plead, if you are watching this and you work for one of these big drug companies like Moderna, AstraZeneca, Pfizer, to name but a few, let's get a bit of competition going worldwide for a cure for MS. What is possible when you all compete for a cure? or a project such as the COVID vaccine is phenomenal. What is possible when politicians around the world get behind? The currently the go-to for people with MS is some sort of AFO, pull it up to try and help with foot drop. Um, I'm also renting at great expense a motor med bike at 420 odd pounds for three months to try and rehabilitate my walking and to self-manage. I'm not convinced that I should be doing it from a living room chair or that I've got the right leg length or knee bend here. But I'm trying to do 10,000 steps or their equivalent on this machine every day in my desperation to self-manage my walking. As you can imagine, it's quite a repetitive and laborious 
task and I'd rather be starting a family or working um, but unfortunately my lack of mobility means that I'm not able to do either so here I am cycling away So it's now the 5th of January and I haven't used the Motormaid for a couple of days as much as I would like to do as I've been having problems with my whole body going spastic since I've been using the machine and also unfortunately I don't know whether it's done something to my bladder or this um, exercise on the bike all of a sudden but I'm now suffering with incontinence again um, so that's put me off of using the bike as well. But I will try tomorrow, um, 6th of January, to start using the bike again, maybe in um, just a couple of thousand steps a day rather than the 10,000 and see where that takes us. But I am pretty um, cheesed off with my walking and I'm having to get help to stand up um, and every footstep is still very effort filled. If you are from one of these big drug companies and have a cure for MS, I would be delighted to hear from you. Who knows, Oxford have found the cure for the Covid vaccine, um, so I'm hopeful that these game changers and mavericks are still floating around um, the various Oxford hospital buildings and can look at finding cures for conditions such as, as MS. <laughs>